asked you to break up your day um, into at least seven different activities and then estimate to the nearest whole hour about how much time of the day you spend on it. So I've generated a list here, sleep, because I like my sleep, uh, just getting ready for the day, including getting my kids, you know, uh, their lunches made and stuff like that, actually teaching, being in a classroom, uh, in front of a computer with instruction related stuff, sitting uh, on my laptop doing grading and everything at the end of the day, treating myself to my favorite Candy Crush game and maybe whatever's on Hulu or some on-demand streaming service, eating. I like eating, but I, I don't have too much time to do it and I don't cook. Uh, and then lastly, just general household chores, basic laundry stuff, picking up after the pets, you know, stuff like that. What is important is all of your tasks, have to make up 24 hours because that's how much time is in a day. So when you make sure you, and if you're not exactly sure, make some stuff up. Nobody really cares. It's more about the, the practicing of this activity where we turn the amount of time we spend on an activity into a fractional representation of how much of our day is spent on that particular task. So eight hours of the day for me is spent sleeping. So I represent that with a fraction of eight out of 24 because the whole day is made up of 24 hours. That's our denominator. And then the part of that that is spent on sleeping is our numerator value. Here, getting ready is one 24ths of my day. Teaching is six 24ths of my day. Grading is two 24ths. Games TV lounging time is 3 24ths, eating is 1 24ths, and chores are 3 24ths. So just to kind of challenge yourself just a little bit, maybe if, if you are like, oh, one hour, one hour, one hour, or two hour, two hour, two hour, two hour, and everything, like, adjust it a little bit so you have a little bit of variation um and it's not well sometimes i do this sometimes uh, i do more of that just kind of like make up some numbers and throw it into fractions so that you under you can show me that you understand what this these fractional values are representing but uh this would be all you need to do because we're just starting off with fractions reducing your fractions if you know how to do that is not going to be a requirement at this point so there you go. Give me at least seven activities. And if you're like, oh, all I do is work and sleep and, and play with my kids. Well, you eat, you drive, you do school, you do like come up with some stuff. I'm sure you have chores to do. Like come up with some stuff, stretch your boundaries, your imagination, um, just so that you're, you're practicing the skill.